Hello, today in this Matrix Gold New Tools Month, we are going to talk about a new Gems tool. Let's go for the tool today that we are looking that is the Gems between two curves. I select this curve and this curve. I just need to be sure that I have a surface that I can look into so all the stones get well aligned. And now the only thing that I need to do, as you can see now I don't have any gap here, just let me move it higher. I need to go to the opposite point, 0, 07 minus 0, 0.15. Actually I can do it from here. Let me see how it looks like now. Alright. I like it. So as you can see now it goes from here to here with no problem. So we have these gems that are bigger and these gems because the profile is smaller are smaller. Now the good thing about the gems between two curves is that we can do different settings. So if I want first of all what I need because I want to set it in channel not with prongs I will need to go inside the metal. So inside the metal I will go probably 0.4 when I click 0.4 everything is recalculating and now goes 0.4 but it's too much because what I was meaning is probably 0.04 let's see okay so now still I need a bit more now looks better so this will be a nice area where I can put the stone and then just hammer the metal top of the stone so I have a nice setting for this eternity ring now also I need some distance between these gems so what I will do is go distance between gems and click on 0 0.05 and everything recalculates automatically. Now as you can see they are not overlapping still a bit so automatically I will go for 0.1. I want some space between all these gems. Now looks much better. Alright so we already have it. As you can see here we have the definition and now once we have this build I still can make any change because everything is parametric. Alright so I can go to this profile, go to edit, select the one that I have here and if I make this part wider the gems adapt to the surface. Maybe I want also this profile with more width. So instead 3 I can go to 3.4 and now it also has recalculate. All right, I can always go to the tools and look at the tech report to see the stones list. So here you can see all the different stones that we have. And as I said, even if uh, we want to change the ring rail, now it's a nine. If I want to go to a number seven, I can go to number seven and everything recalculates by itself. Once you like what you have, always keep an eye at the very end because we are changing the diameter, we will need to adapt the stones then. The only thing that you need to do is go back to the gem between two curves again and play with the distance between gems. Alright, so there we go. Now we have this beautiful ring that very quick if we want to create a render, even there are not yet the holes, we can go and use the metals just for rendering that are these ones and I will use a rose gold matte apply material to object and for the gems I will use this diamond classic I will for 500 passes and I will launch the render I will use the NVIDIA denoiser and there we go we get this nice render with this matte rose gold that in case that we want it polished we can go and select the polish one, I will apply the matrix classic for this one and again I will click on the render. So there we go. This is a nice video that we have been using many different tools that are very, very handy when you are doing this kind of designs. So I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.